Always seems, Sean and I were just talking about it, number of Toronto kids playing on opposition teams. What's it like to be on a team with four BC products and, and coming here to Vancouver with a chance to play and, and hopefully play well? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, we like coming home, but, uh, you know, there's no question it's, it's a business trip. I think when you're younger, you appreciate it more, and I think now it just becomes kind of an everyday experience, uh, you know, just another game for us. So it's important that we play well and, uh, you know, keep this road trip going. How are things going with Tyson, and how have you found the, the learning curve, developing chemistry there going so far? Um, it's going good. Uh, I'm, we've got to keep working on a couple of things, and, you know, we're pretty open with one with. Uh, I was one another and we talk about how we can improve and you know things we want to do better and um, you know I think we've got a ways to go but you know we're looking forward to the challenges that are coming and you know we want to make it work I think we both said that so you know we're going to just uh, uh, keep talking and keep trying to improve. No I, I don't have it off the top of my head everything <laughs> defensive zone not letting them score. In terms of the agency though you guys are being given in terms of decision making right you guys get to decide when to go forward when to go back all that. Kind oh of yeah. Is, how um, is that much of an adjustment from how from the kind of brief you had before? No, not, not really. Not, not as much? I mean, there wasn't. No. It's, no? It's, you, yeah, you're just out there. You're feeling it, and you play the game. Uh, you know the way you always have. You you play off instincts, and you go when you can. And when it's not there, you don't. So. Yeah. But is it different because you've never played with a guy like that who plays? Oh yeah, like that's that? that's probably different. Yeah. Well, guards was a gambler, so. Yeah, that's true. But no, yeah, it's different. But it's fun. No. Is your chemistry with Tyson enhanced by the fact you're both from here? You got some things to talk about. Geographical <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I would say so. No, I, <laughs> no, we. I, I mean, we know each other from before, so it just makes it a bit more easy to uh, be open with one another and talk. And um, but that's really it. that's it. What have you seen in consistency in terms of special teams? And obviously, you talk more about the penalty kill, but at least in the last couple of weeks, what has stood out uh, about the Leafs and and the consistency that's really shown a uh, big improvement? No, I think that we're just. You know, we're working together as a unit, uh, talking about the PK. Um, we're playing with more confidence. I think on both both special teams, I think when you get rolling a little bit um, on a run on the PK, you, you start to play with more confidence at the, and uh, more as a unit, I guess, and we're, I think we're being a little bit more aggressive. Pierre Engvall, what has he meant uh, in terms of obviously physicality and his skating ability, but he seems to be at home in that regard as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's been a, a huge part of, of the PK since he's uh, been called up, and uh, that's, a, that's been a big help as well as... Um, his ability to skate, I think, with it, and he's such a big body and lengthy and uh, really disruptive for the power play. And then uh, aside from that, he's just he's done a great job of just you know fitting in right away and 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 you know playing in the NHL is, is a hard thing to do, and I think he's done a great job. Freddie's given up two or fewer goals in five of his last seven starts. I guess some of that might equip or at least equate itself to the the penalty kill. What are you seeing from him that lends confidence towards the rest of you guys playing in front of him? Yeah, you know, he's always steady. He's uh, he's always you know the rock back there for us. And uh, whether it be a big you know big couple of saves that we needed in the in the first period to you know keep us in it and then get let us get in a roll or saves late in the game making those big saves. You know he, we can always count on him. So he's, he's since I've gotten here, it's kind of been. You know, the same story with him, which is um, he's been e elite back there for us, so we're lucky to have him. So many, so often guys come to Toronto and play in their hometown, but yeah. you have four guys in here are coming back to BC. I guess just what's that kind of like for you guys? It's nice. Uh, it's nice, obviously. You know, it goes for them as well. They go see family, friends, and a lot of people are coming to the game tomorrow, and it's just an exciting time. Uh, obviously, they don't get to see you in person a lot, so it's it's good. Is there always a little extra Bruce when you know you got lots of friends and family? Uh, for sure. You, know, you want to have, have a good game, want to play good, and for me tomorrow, just um, kind of play the same way, but uh, you know, my goal is obviously to pop one here and hopefully, um, you know, hopefully tomorrow. What goes into the oh, Mitch, into the water or anything that also goes with it in terms of producing four Vancouver area players uh, to make it this far? And we can go right down the list of all the other rosters as well. There are many. Yeah, I mean, growing up, it was it was uh, you know a high. High powered, I guess, you know, guys from all over, lower main line from, you know, West Van, North Van growing up. So, um, yeah, it's just been, I guess, I, I'm not too familiar with it now, but uh, back then it was great. Could you name drop a few? I know Kerf and, and, and Mo played together and, and, and just teams that you may have grown up with, with guys who went on to prominence? Uh, to think about it right now, um, I, and I played with, you know, Sam Reiner growing up, Curtis right. Cesar, um, all in those uh, Team BC teams and all those type of things. Trish and Jerry actually grew up with him in North Delta, so um, yeah, a lot of guys. What are you seeing from the hockey club right now that lends itself in terms of confidence building off what you guys accomplished against the Cup champions on, on the weekend and what you'd like to do again here tomorrow night? 
Just play a, you know, a lot in the offensive zone. I'm working on you know, having heavy shifts in the O zone and uh, working playing in the middle of the ice and just kind of getting back to the groove that we, we know we can be in, and you know, that's when we played our best. Sunshine in Vancouver, should we celebrate this? Is this a normal cause of event? Yeah, I woke up this morning, I was surprised, so hopefully uh, it stays here until tomorrow. Sheldon, your special team since you've been here, uh, is that maybe uh, an indication of, of the consistency you'd like to see your club at, maybe symbolic of, of the five and three start you've had while you've been behind the bench? Well, the, the special teams are a crucial part of the game, of course, so it has been an area we've put uh, a lot of focus and attention on. Uh, still, still a pretty small sample here in terms of the success that we've had, but we want to see that continue to progress. We want to be on the power play more than we have as well and uh, continue to get the penalty kills that we've had, especially at key times. Are you making a conscious effort to play some of your, I guess we'd call them star players, more? Um, because it seems like minutes for guys like Austin, for Mitch, for John, for Willie have gone up since you've taken over. Is that something you're trying to do? Yeah, that is definitely my intention. I think some of the games where they've played a little bit less than I'd like is usually, you know, the games have been in hand yeah. for us and we're using our bench more. But, yeah, you know, those are great players. We think have uh, the ability to make a real difference for us. We want to play with the lead as much as we can. And we, we believe those guys give us the best chance uh, at making that happen. So um, we want to try to get them involved, especially early. Do you talk, have to talk to the sports science guys and say, what's the ideal number for these guys? Or do you just kind of go by how they feel, feedback that way? What's the decision making? on Well, in the game as we're going, I'm, I'm more just reacting to how you know, the, the, the uh, feedback they're giving me just from their body language and what I can mm -hmm. sense. Sometimes I'll just ask them. Um, we have the benefit of timeouts that help it, and that's kind of where you see some of the spikes in the ice time is before and after those yeah. timeouts. But um, the sports science guys are keeping an eye on more of the, the bigger picture things right. and giving us a sense of what, what might be too much. Um, we haven't reached that point yet, so just keep it rolling.